Hi students as february approaches it's that month of the year in which you will be facing theory exams i know many of you are probably wondering what to study how to study and how much to study well fear not in today's video we will be discussing the blueprint based on the official sample paper issued by the cbsc for the session 2324 so without wasting much time let's get started here on the screen you can see the distribution of the marks based on the topics if we talk about the first two chapter that is python revision tour 1 and 2 there are total 7 one mark questions along with that there are total 3 2 marks questions Moreover there will be one question which will be having or part 2 moving ahead there is a one question for 3 marks so the total weightage of this chapter is 14 marks pay attention to these two chapters because it contains higher weightage let's check out the next topic that is working with function you will be getting one question for one mark and there are total four questions for the two marks here also you have choice for one question In 3 mark section you will be getting two questions here also you have choice for one question if we look at the total marks allotted to this topic we can see it is 10 it's time to check out the next topic that is exception handling you will be getting one question for one mark so the total weightage is one mark specific to random model there is a one question for one mark and for general model there is one more question so the total weightage is two for the module topic the next topic is very important you can see the weightage is 10 marks in data file handling you will be getting questions on text file binary file as well as csv files there will be one question for one mark which can be based on file modes or the functions and the methods associated with these three files in the sample paper there is a question for four marks based on the csv file and if we look at the category of five marks question there is a one question with or option focus on these topics and ensure that you have a strong understanding of the concepts within them look at the next topic that is data structure stack using list you will be getting one question for 3 marks based on this topic so the total weightage is 3 marks let's proceed to the remaining topics the next topic is computer networks you will be getting two questions for one marks and there are two questions for two marks with the choice generally we get one question for five marks which will be case study based question so the total weightage for this chapter is 9 this is also a topic with the higher weightage so you should have a solid foundation for scoring these marks the next important topic is mysql based on mysql there are total four questions for one marks and there are two questions for two marks along with choice Moving ahead to the section C you have two questions for 3 marks and for 4 marks you will be getting one question so the total weightage of mysql is 16 we should be paying attention to this chapter because it is with the highest weightage now it's time to check out the last topic that is interface python with mysql you will be getting one question with choice so the total weightage of this chapter is 5 marks So here are the total number of questions from the each section. Now we need to concentrate on the chapters which carries higher weightage. Here is the distribution of the marks and weightage of each chapter. Let's highlight the specific topics within each chapters that have been consistently asked in previous years. By focusing on these areas you can prioritize your study time effectively. Remember it's not just about studying hard it's about studying smart all right then let's talk about the topics from the first chapter that is python revision tour in the section a generally you will be getting question based on tokens in which the question will be based on identifier keywords as well as it can be based on operators you may be getting question in the form of true or false for that the basics of python should be clear Along with that you will be getting question to evaluate the expression which is generally based on the operators so make sure you are clear with the concept of the precedence of the operator which will be helpful for evaluating the expression so this was all about one mark questions in the section b for two marks you will be getting question in which you need to find out the errors and rewrite the code 
we covered all the types of questions based on the chapter 1 now it's time to check out for the chapter 2 that is python revision tool 2 if we look at the questions from this chapter generally you will be getting mcqs which will be based on dictionary list tuple and string functions so make sure you are clear with all the functions and methods associated with all these four data types. I always suggest to write all the functions and methods in one paper. There are high chances that you will definitely get one question based on slicing and it can be on list, tuple or string. In section A for one mark you will be getting question which is in the form of assertion and reasoning. So this was all about one mark questions from the section A. Now what about other section? Generally you will be getting question in the form of predict the output which will be for 3 marks or it can be even for 2 marks also. And how you will be doing it? We have solved a lot of questions of this type using dry run table. That's why I trust you that you can guess the output easily. The weightage of the questions may slightly change in the final board paper but we need not worry about that. We will be focusing on solving the questions. The question based on slicing you may get even for 2 marks instead of 1. If we talk about these first two chapters, the weightage is almost 15 marks. Alright, let's move ahead to the next topic that is random model. For the session 23-24, we need to focus only on the and surely you will be getting one question based on it in the form of predict the output. This question also you need to solve using dry run method. Still you have any doubt how to solve this question? Go through this video, you will get an idea. You may get this question for one mark or two marks. Even there are chances that you will be getting one question in the section A in which you may need to mention the name of the modules for the specific functions. Let's check out the next topic that is working with function. This topic is also with the higher weightage with almost 10 marks. So here is the pattern of the different questions which will be asked on this topic working with functions. In the section A you will be getting question for one mark. In which the question can be like this. The code will be given and you need to fill the missing line. Along with that there can be a question in the form of assertion and reasoning. This is all about section A. Now let's move ahead to the section B. The code will be given with some errors. You need to rewrite the code and correct the errors. This will be generally for 2 marks. You may also get the question for 2 marks in which you need to find out the output of the code. And the same type of questions you will be getting in the section C for 3 marks also. As you are familiar with the concept that whenever we need to find out the output of the code, we will be drawing the dry run table. Coming to one of the important topic of the syllabus, file handling. You will surely get one question based on text file, binary file as well as CSV file in which you need to write the code based on the instructions. This question can be in the section C, D or E. If we talk about the section A, you will be getting one question for one mark. Generally, it will be based on the file modes or the functions related to file like seek, tell, fetch. From the topic file handling, there will be one question for four marks or five marks where the code will be given and you need to fill the missing lines. Generally, CSV file is considered for this type of question. Hope you got an idea about the questions of this topic. What's the next topic? It is data structure stack which we are implementing using list. Based on this topic you will be getting one question in the 3 mark section. In which according to the instructions you need to write the functions which will be performing the task of push and pop operation on the stack. As we are implementing stack using list you know we use append function to add the item to the stack means to push the item to the stack and we will be using pop function to pop the element from the stack. If still you did not get hold of this topic go through the videos where we have practiced lot of questions based on it. Even we have solved the questions from the sample question paper issued by CBSC for the current session. Along with that we have solved the additional practice question paper too. Here comes the next important topic from the syllabus. Almost 10 marks are allotted to this topic. This is completely theoretical. If you are not confident about python, 
here is the chance to get the 10 marks from this topic then you need to prepare this topic very well along with mysql now let's look at the type of the questions based on this topic you will be getting the question in which you need to write the full form like you need to write the full form of the protocol ppp or smtp or tcp ip when we talk about the two marks question generally it will be based on the differentiate between the two terms such as differentiate between star and bus topology or differentiate between domain and url now let's move ahead to the five mark question this is very easy to cover you will be getting one case study based question and the pattern of this question is almost same so practice these questions properly to get these marks to prepare this topic easily i would suggest to write all the headings first and then go through the details hope you got an idea of computer networks question all right then let's move ahead to the next topic that is mysql you know according to the standard weightage criteria we have almost 20 marks for this topic i believe you that you can easily cover these 20 marks go through all the theory concepts and practice all the type of queries here is the different types of questions which will be asked on the mysql topic in section a you will be getting questions based on cardinality or it can be based on keys make sure that you are clear with the concept of different types of constraints let's check out the question from the section b and c you will be getting the question of the form in which you need to write the output of the query query will be given you need to find out the output of that query there is another pattern of the question in which you need to write the query based on the given instructions so you should have the clear understanding of the select query along with different clause check out how to apply the where clause with select query even order by and group by clause there is one more pattern of the question you will be getting on mysql that is case study based question in which you need to answer some questions based on the real world scenario by answering the questions correctly you will be getting four marks the students those who don't have confidence in python seeking for the passing marks can go ahead with the topic of mysql as well as networking standard weightage of mysql is 20 marks and the networking is 30 so if you write correctly you will be getting 30 marks go through the videos of mysql as well as networking and solve the previous year questions also now we are at the final topic interface python with mysql so what type of questions you will be getting based on this topic generally you will be getting the question in which you need to write the missing statement to complete the code sometimes you may need to write the python code too the weightage for this chapter is 5 marks to solve these questions you should be clear with the concept of mysql and how to do the connectivity using python you should never skip this type of questions because to write one word you will be getting one mark well there you have it students a comprehensive analysis of the cbsc blueprint for the session 23 24 i hope this video has clarified any doubts you had about how to study and how to approach your preparation remember stay focused stay positive if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe for more valuable content best of luck with your exams i will see you in the next video